Hello, my name is Peter Thorne and I'm the Centre Director for the Icarus Climate Research Centre at Maynooth University. This year marks the 50th anniversary of the very first Earth Day. Climate change is hugely important in the transition to sustainability. Without addressing climate change, all other aspects of addressing sustainability become that much more difficult, if not impossible. On a fundamental level, our society has benefited from a period in the geological sense of climate that has been remarkably stable. That stability in the climate system has enabled us to develop from hunter-gatherers through agricultural revolution to an industrial revolution to where we are today. Any change in that climate will have overall more negative impacts than it does positive. There will be more losers than there will be winners, and it will be that much harder to meet all the other goals and aspirations contained within the UN Sustainable Development Goals. Climate change itself has changed beyond recognition since the 1970s. In the 1970s, we had very rudimentary physical models of the climate system. They captured very big processes, but they had very, very little regional information. Prior to 1970, we really had no Earth observations from space. Now we have constellations of satellites capable of measuring multiple aspects of the climate system quasi-globally. We also have the ability to measure the ocean profile down to great depths today. So we're in a much better position in observations, but also the models have changed beyond recognition. We have huge ability today to model complex aspects of the climate system, even down to the regional scale. Those improvements in the models and the observations have led to us to improve our confidence and understanding of fundamental climate processes. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change has re in its most recent assessment report assessed that climate change is unequivocal. There is no alternative explanation than that the climate is changing. It further concluded that human influence upon the climate system is clear. That's to say that humans, humanity fingerprints are all over the recent climate change. Indeed, our best estimate of the climate change contribution from humans since 1950 is that we have contributed all of it, or a little bit more than all of it. And it further said that the future choices are down to us. Where the climate goes from here fundamentally depends upon our choices that we make. So what does a sustainable future look like? Well, it has to be a future that includes climate change being stabilised at or close to present day, which means that we must radically alter our behaviour in terms of our emissions of greenhouse gases. That means radically and quickly altering how we move, how we heat our properties um, and other aspects of the system. But it does not mean going back in and living proverbially in caves. We must recognise that these are technological challenges, societal challenges, behavioural challenges. But COVID-19 has shown us that we can change rapidly if we want to, if we see the need to. And there is the possibility that we can look back and see that we don't want to go back to where we were last time. Thanks for watching. This video is part of a series of expert reflections curated by Future Earth Island as part of Future Earth Week. To watch other videos or to find out more about Future Earth Island, check out Future Earth Island on Twitter or go to the Future Earth Island website.